So is YouTube now your full time career? Well, I don't know because in this three months YouTube paid. Okay, before we get there, let's look at how it all began. The first thing you gotta know about me is that I hate cameras. Before I started this whole YouTube journey, I can count all the pictures I've ever taken on my right hand. Another thing you gotta know about me is that I'm a fan of podcasts. Well, I try to be. See, the times that I do listen to a podcast, I receive so much value from it that I can actively apply in my life and in my business. So one day I was listening to the podcast, The Diary of a CEO, and the special guest that day was Alex Amozzi. Now, I love Alex Amozzi because every single sentence he says, there is so much value to take from it. Anyways, I was listening to the podcast and then I went into the shower. Now, the shower is where I have my best thoughts and ideas. Now, I then thought, why doesn't South Africa have something like this? So when I came out of the shower, I researched it and turns out it did, but it wasn't done right. The next day, a friend and I went to drop off our monthly products at Take A Lot. After that, we decided to go to McDonald's because that's another great place where good ideas come from. We ended up having a brainstorming session where we just threw random ideas out there. I remember we were talking about the gaming organization that we created a few years back with some friends. We were doing video game creation and tournament hosting on Call of Duty, which actually did very well. Yeah, a lot of people signed up. And we also remembered how fun content creation really was. I then actually told him that I wanted to create my own YouTube channel doing cinematic movie style videos showing my creative abilities. And I was like, dude, just yesterday I had an idea where I sit down with millionaires and billionaires asking them their life story and how they did what they did to get to where they are. And long story cut short, that was the birth of the success equation. So now we have to learn this thing called YouTube. And we were quite fortunate to have a good starting point because I already had my photography and videography business up and running. So I had experience with editing and a bit of content creation. Yeah, and I also knew content creation because of my marketing agency and I had experience in business. So I knew business and well finance. Before we carry on, as much as it's really fun starting a YouTube channel, I want you to know that, you know, one problem that I genuinely see in South Africa is how poor financial literacy is among the general public. People don't understand what it means to save, invest, how to make money or even budget. So I wanted to teach exactly that in a way that is both valuable and entertaining. That is the entire purpose of the channel, just to teach or inspire at least one more person. So if you find any value in our content, please subscribe and let us know in the comments because it kind of helps YouTube push the video and maybe together we can inspire just one more person. Now, as I was saying, we had the basis of knowledge to start the channel. So we set up the studio and went all out into the planning of the channel. Studio was set up to the point where we thought we were going to be happy with the shooting. But it turned out horrible. There was a boring background, we only had one camera, we had no lighting, and our mic was broken. Overall, it just sucked. And because of that, we did what any rational person would do. We went out to get some grass. No, not that grass. The grass we bought is actually the one that's behind me right now. Now that everything was ready, I reached out to my mentors and a few friends that was very successful in their field to get them as guests on the podcast. Now, MZ and my plan was to post one YouTube video per week and a short video on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook every single day. Yeah, a bit overkill, but essential. After our first shoot on the 27th of May, we realized that my mic wasn't recording. which means all of that footage was a waste. But now we couldn't reshoot it with the guest, so we literally had to reshoot the questions on another day. And that's why if you watch the video really carefully, you'll see that I'm not even looking at the guest because there was no guest. Now, we didn't post this straight away because we tried to get a video bank where we saved up in a few videos so that we had some freedom with posting when we actually started with the channel. We filmed two other podcasts after that one, and with each one, the process of filming and editing got a whole lot smoother. MZ and I discussed it, and we told ourselves that we're going to give this whole YouTube thing two years. And if we don't reach a thousand subscribers in two years, we'll give up. On the 17th of July, exactly three months ago from today, we posted our very first video. Now, that video performed a lot better than we expected, but that's just purely because we just shared it to our WhatsApp status and to everyone that we knew, and they checked it out. Very quickly, three weeks went by, and our posting schedule that was three weeks ahead was now done, and we had no idea what to do going forward. Even though we set a plan for four podcasts a month, it was a lot harder to get guests than we thought, especially those whose time is very valuable. That's when we decided to film a short video, purely to not break our consistency with YouTube. We noticed that it was a lot more easier and a lot more fun to film that short video 
compared to an hour-long podcast. And we noticed in just a few days that video surpassed all of our other podcasts in views. After posting that video, we noticed that in a few days, the views on that short video was higher than all the other videos on our channel. Adaptability is extremely important in the business, so that's exactly what we did. We decided to focus on shorter form videos with the goal of fitting in as much value as we possibly can in a few minutes. We made a few short videos and we kept posting. I think the most important aspect of that is that we didn't let the views and our subscribers affect our consistency in posting. As time went on, we got better at making videos and that also reduced the amount of time it took to get a video right because boy did I make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> I literally left No, I did a really bad job. I left I can't speak. You scared me! My face! Just six days after posting the video on how I made 100,000 Rand in a single week on Take A Lot, that video hit 1,000 views. We were super excited. After three weeks, that video hit 4,000 views, the highest our channel has ever seen. And because of our consistency, good quality, and virality on all of our other platforms, YouTube started pushing the video and we started getting tens of thousands of views per day. Before we realized it, we hit 1,000 subscribers, then 2,000, then 3,000, and today we're sitting on 8,600 subscribers in three months. That's insane, but I think the secret was consistency, good intention, and good quality. Okay, so the time of the video you've been waiting for, how we got monetized on YouTube. And that basically means that YouTube shows ads on the videos and we get paid for it. So how much are you currently saving on insurance? So to be honest with you, I couldn't really afford insurance for the last few months, but I started watching this channel called The Success Equation. And they've been teaching me so much about how to make money uh, that I can actually afford the hiked up prices of these companies right now. The requirement to get monetized is 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time, which is basically around 240,000 minutes. That's basically like getting 240,000 people to watch your video for one minute. Yeah, it's a lot. So anyways, on the 2nd of October, we got monetized. Yeah, I know it was pretty quick, but it's really thanks to you guys. The average channel on YouTube takes 15 months to get monetized, so we owe it all to you. Now, the one part that does suck is that YouTube doesn't pay you for all the views that you got before you got monetized. So it only kind of starts from that point. So from the 2nd of October to today, we received about 35,000 views. And for that 35,000 views, YouTube paid us a whopping $73 which is like 1,400 rand. It's quite disappointing considering how hard it really is to get 35,000 views on YouTube. Let me explain to you how this whole monetization thing works. Companies pay YouTube to advertise on their platform. The amount of money that a company pays YouTube per thousand viewers that sees their ad is referred to as the CPM or the cost per mole. Now, this price is heavily dependent on the niche of your video as well as the country that you're in. Essentially, it all comes down to the buying power of the viewer, which is the ability of a person to buy something. Advertisers would pay more to show their ad to somebody watching a video about taxes or starting a business compared to somebody that would be watching a try not to laugh challenge or a video about cats. Okay, so let's look at one of our videos, the top highest paying jobs in South Africa. Now the CPM for that video is $2.29 or 44 Rand. Now that is quite low compared to international standards, but that's purely because of our buying power in this country. Now don't be mistaken, this is not how much YouTube pays us for a thousand views, this is how much they charge the advertisers for a thousand views. YouTube feels the need to take a cut of 45 to 55% off the CPM. So that means per thousand views for this video, we got 0.85 cents or 16 Rand. This is referred to as the RPM or the revenue per mole. So this video is currently sitting at 2,200 views. And for those views, YouTube paid us $1.91, which is roughly 36 Rand. As I said before, the main reason these numbers are so low is because the buying power of South Africans is not that high. So geez, you guys gotta catch a wake up, make some money. Just kidding, please subscribe. <laughs> subscribe, and if you haven't checked out how I made 100,000 Rand in one week, go check it out here.